In this video, I'll show you the termination instructions and several key features from our new Pro SNS Snap and Seal connector family, including a universal F connector, a security BNC connector, CCTV cameras, and a plenum F connector. First, I'll start by showing you the universal F connector and how to properly terminate using one of our Cable Pro tools. First, it's important to notice that snap and seal connectors feature a plastic compression sleeve that's removable very easily on all different types of connectors. And this is done for a number of reasons. Number one, plastic sleeves are easier to compress inside the tool, but also some installers are in the habit of sliding the compression sleeve onto the cable before they insert the, the cable into the connector and then compressing the sleeve onto the connector afterwards. So that can be accomplished, but it's not completely necessary. As you can see, the steps that I'll take the cable that's been prepped using a quarter quarter prep tool, pull back the braid. and I'll simply insert the cable into the back of the connector. You can see the plastic guide sleeve that's used with F connectors in the Pro S and S family, universal connectors, to help ease the insertion so it's not a blind entry. So once I've inserted the cable into the connector, you'll see that the sleeve pops out, and once the dielectric is flush inside with the inner post, I've inserted the cable far enough. Then I simply have to use the Cable Pro compression tool align properly. You can see there are teeth on the tool here that correspond with the groove that's in the body of all of the Pro s, &S connectors, making it easy to insert it into the tool. And then with very little hand pressure, I compress the connector closed, and I've got a complete determination on a universal cable. It's just as easy when using a BNC and a security wire as you can see here, this is a different cable configuration. This is CCTV RG59 cable, and there's no dielectric, just a copper over dielect or a copper braid over dielectric center. There's no foil, so it's a little bit different than an F connector in that there's no guide tube, no plastic guide tube, but there is a pin carrier that's inserted in the back of the connector instead of some of the more traditional placement in the front. This is a patented feature that allows the installer to again be able to see the installation in process, eliminating the blind entry. So once I take the center conductor, insert it into the back of the connector, I simply push the connector in, the cable in, excuse me, and then I'm ready to compress again. Same instructions using the teeth, aligning it with the groove in the body of the connector. I'll compress, and I've got a complete termination. The security sleeve has a the security connector sleeve is a little bit different in the construction of the connector. I'm going to pop off the back sleeve to show you how it's an open body on the back with split rings, and this allows for the different uh, constructions and different diameters that we sometimes find with security cable from manufacturer to manufacturer. So this creates a range taking effect that allows different cables to fit in without the typical hassles that are associated with using RG59 CCTV cable and inserting it into a compression connector. Finally, using some of the same methodology as we showed on the security sleeves, our, new, our plenum connectors have that same back end. You'll notice there's no plastic sleeve in the plenum connectors and that's by design because we've incorporated the split ferrule into the back end to allow easy insertion of plenum cables. Plenum cables, like security cables, are notorious for having different dimensions from cable to cable, from manufacturer to manufacturer, despite similar descriptions. An example would be RG6 plenum cable, sometimes can vary from manufacturer to manufacturer. So what we've done is eliminated the hassle associated with that by using the split ferrule in the back end. You can see I've already prepped this Belden plenum cable, and I can easily insert it into the cable, into the connector, very simply moving it to where the dielectric is flush which is necessary with all F connectors and then again using the same tool and the groove on the connector simply compress the tool 
and I've easily created a finished termination for a plenum F connector. All of these connections are made possible and, and uh, very easy with a plastic sleeve and the plier style compression tool from Cable Pro that makes uh, installation easy with no tips to keep up with, no adjustments to be made on the tool at any point during the process, regardless of F connectors or BNCs or even RCAs.